frontier land, Zorro, El Bandido. Starring Guy Williams. Guest star, Gilbert Rowland. As a stranger to California, you're entitled to one warning. And this is it. Now take your men, Cuchillo, and leave California. Now, Toro. And now, your Disneyland host, Walt Disney. To most of us, the early days of California mean the time when this flag flew over the California Republic before its admission into the United States in 1850. And we think of Sutter's Mill near Sacramento, where gold was discovered back in 1849. But a full half century before the exciting days of the gold rush, California was the sunny land of the Spanish dons. It was a romantic period of leisurely and gracious living, but it was a lawless period too, a time when California's isolation from the forces of law and order in the rest of the world was an open invitation to violence and banditry. Stories are told of a legendary hero who lived in those outlaw days, a dashing young man who appeared as a gay bon vivant by day, but who wore this by night to ride the countryside as the champion of justice and protector of the oppressed. Hated and feared by those he opposed, honored and respected by those he defended, he was known as Zorro. And you are about to see one of his exciting adventures now. Its title, El Bandido. Soldados. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, Cuchillo, they just keep coming. Just an even dozen. Come on, muchachos. heard that California is rich. This is what we have been waiting for. If we play it smart, we can return to Mexico rich men. As your new leader, I promise you more gold than you can carry. And where are they going to carry it? 
up the steps of the gallows? You got nine lives. Uh, 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 hey, has. I just happened to borrow one of his. Where did you get your horse? From the ranchero we happened to meet. Muchachos, the ranchero who was kind enough to give Chato a horse also gave me this. <laughs> he was a very generous ranchero. Here, Chato. Divide it up. Hey! Oh, this is for you. Gracias. And this. We thought the soldiers captured you. We had a right to choose a new leader. I know you had. Then why did you hit me? Because you did not help Chato when his horse fell, that's why. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Muchachos, it's getting a little too warm in Mexico for us. So, since we're already in California, we are going to stay here. Until it gets too hot here, huh? <laughs> By that time, it'll be a little cooler in Mexico. <laughs> hey, amigos, how many of you have not stolen anything in Los Angeles? No, not, not me. me. Yo tampoco. Nobody, huh? Good. That's where we'll start. Get on your horses. Vámonos. What's the matter with you? Los Angeles? We're just going for a visit. We're not going to live there. Zorro lives in Los Angeles. You're not afraid of Zorro, are you? I am not. Come here. Remember, you're one of us Cuchillo's bandidos. I want you to act like one. But that's the trouble. If you just happen to act like a bandido in Los Angeles, it's this is it. Say, uh, maybe you'd like to wear the cape and the mask too, eh? Beautiful, eh? Oh, you're clever today. Chest protector won't help you now, Bernardo. Come on, defend yourself. Is he hurt, Don Diego? Are you, are you all right, little one? This is strange, Don Diego. I can never make him understand a thing. But only a moment ago, you were speaking to him. As though he could hear, huh? Exactly. Oh, you're a very observing, Sergeant. You know, Bernardo has been with me so long that I forget that he neither hears nor speaks, and sometimes I actually find myself talking to him. Just like I talked to my horse, eh? Exactly. But, Don Diego, where did you learn to fence like that? <laughs> Sergeant, I, I, I'm only trying to learn to please my father. But I saw you do things only an expert could do. Uh, Sergeant, what you saw was a good friend trying his best to make me look good. I shudder to think what would happen if I were ever challenged by an expert such as yourself, Comandante. Well, I suppose that would make a difference. Oh, it certainly would. And now, Sergeant, to uh, what do we owe the pleasure of this visit? I would like to talk to your father, Don Alejandro. Well, if you'll make yourself at home in the sala, I will tell him you're here. Gracias, Don Diego. Oh, Sergeant, by the way, uh, there's a new wine on the table. I would like your opinion of it. Gracias, Don Diego. <laughs> You may use the door. Ah. Oh, 
I think I handle that rather well. Well, what's your opinion, Sasha? Don Diego, this is the most wonderful... Well, that is, <laughs> it is really hard to say. Oh, well, uh, let's not have any snap judgments, eh? Uh, perhaps if you had another glass? Perhaps. Did you wish to see me, Sergeant? Oh, see, si, see, si, Don Alejandro. Well? Uh, I am informing all the rancheros that the warehouse is ready. Did you reinforce the door? See. Si. And uh, have you arranged for the guards? See. Si. Uh, Father, are you still worried about those hides? Oh, you need not be Don Alejandro. As acting Comandante of the Pueblo, I am personally responsible for their safety. That is the chief source of my worry. Uh, Father, I am certain that Sergeant Garcia has taken every precaution. Oh, indeed I have, Don Diego. It will be a sorry bandido who tries any tricks on me. <laughs> Even that rascal of a... <laughs> That's the spirit, Sergeant. And now, if you are ready to go into Los Angeles, Bernardo and I will ride with you. I'm ready, Don Diego. Oh, come on. Diego, do you not share my concern? To steal that many hides, Father, would require at least a dozen bandidos. There just are not that many in Los Angeles. <laughs> that the men don't get in trouble. I don't want anybody to steal anything. Yet. Remember, we're in Los Angeles and uh, we have to meet the right kind of people. Especially people with uh, money. Soldiers! Meet me at the tavern. Sergeant Demetrio Lopez Garcia, acting comandante of the Pueblo de Los Angeles. And you, senor? Please, senor, you do not understand. Forgive me, senor, but... It is my duty to ask these questions of every visitor to Los Angeles. Go ahead. Gracias, senor. Now then, what is your name? Your name, senor? I have explained that it is my duty to ask these questions. 
Please, senor. Please, senor, you, you must answer. Where I start, Sergeant? Wayne Astard is on Diego. Now, senor, I warn you. Sergeant, I was just on my way to the tavern. Would you care to join me? Perhaps later, Don Diego. At the moment, I'm very busy. The senor is a stranger here and refuses to answer my questions. Uh, well, Sergeant, your, uh, your devotion to duty is most commendable, but there is no law which says you must question your arrivals immediately, is there? Well, no. Well, then, I'm certain that you will know all about the senor before he leaves Los Angeles. My friend, Dad, I promise you. And now, Sergeant, now that you're sure that the law will be served, what do you say? Of course, don't you? Uh, just a moment, amigos. I would like you both to be my guests. Gracias, senor, gracias. I insist. It will be a pleasure, senor. Uh, Lancers, dismiss! Bring a little wine for my friends, huh? And a little, uh, for me. Senor. It's most generous of you, senor. Cachillo! Excuse me, gentlemen. What, well, Sergeant? Now you know his name is Cuchillo. The knife. I don't like to have my name shouted in public. But I wanted you to see this. 1,500 pesos reward for a sword of the bandit. <laughs> They offered 2,500 pesos for me in Mexico. I just thought it would be easy money. It would be. But I don't think we're going to see much of Zorro while we're here. Here you are, Sergeant Garcia. Gracias. Oh. Something wrong? I almost forgot. I have a message for you. Well, what is it? I can't remember. Chulita. Well, you know how it is. I forgot, but he will come to me. Uh, it could not have been important or else you would have remembered it. Well, do you remember who gave it to you? Don Francisco. Don Francisco? Don Francisco? Caramba! Don Francisco is sending a silver service worth 5,000 pesos to his goddaughter in Santa Barbara. I was to bring it in and put it safely on the coach. That was the message. He was wondering where you were. Excuse me, Don Diego, but if that silver is not on the midnight coach, Don Francisco will be angry. Five thousand pesos. Tell the boys we have just met some very nice people. Go on. Gracias for the wine, senor. I, I will see you later. Would there be anything else, senor? I would like a big plate of enchiladas with a lot of chili sauce. Si, huh? senor. Ay, chihuahua. The name is Chulita. Uh-huh. To you. Uh, Diego, is it? And to you. Cochillo, is it not? Salud. Salud. Diego, are you certain this El Cuchillo and his men are bandidos? Well, they seem to be very interested in Don Francisco Silva. But is this El Cuchillo capable of killing Sergeant Garcia for it? Well, in that case, could not do. Zorro will be in for a very interesting evening. And so will El Cuchillo.
Víboras, víboras. Sorry up. Ándale pronto, hombre. Ah, uh, why don't we just kill him, huh? No, 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 no. Just take the silver and get out of here. <laughs> Ay, qué panzoncito vacilón este. <laughs> Silver and put it in my saddlebags. Where are they? I don't hear anything. I'll take a look. As a stranger to California, you're entitled to one warning. And this is it. Now take your men, Cuchillo, and leave California. But I like California. Lots of beautiful senoritas. Orange trees. <laughs> Sunshine. Well, I guess I won't need this anymore. Here. Now, Zorro. All right. Now. Let's try that again. Oh, in the name of the king! Later, Zorro. Any time. We got 
not this one. But Zorro and the other one got away. I know, I know. But it is more important that we get this silver back to Los Angeles. We will just have to wait to capture that rascal of a Zorro. Don't wait too long, Gordito. There won't be a Zorro for you to capture. Pardon, senor. Gold sovereign. I haven't seen one of these since I left Spain. Way to start us, Don Diego. More hides? Now, one more wagon, Sergeant. Tell you, what's this? Merely one of the bandidos I captured last night. Uh, I did not think it would hurt him to do a little work. Well, <laughs> you're to be commended, Sergeant. Gracias, Don Diego. So, the hides keep coming in, eh? Oh, oh see, si, Don Diego. I had no idea there were so many in all of California. Uh, would you care to see them? It would be my pleasure. You know, Don Diego, if I myself had not counted them, I would say there are more hides here than can be counted. Oh, it's going to be a large shipment, Sergeant. Oh, by the way, uh, about the robbery last night, uh, you say one of the bandidos escaped? See, si, the one who was fighting with Zorro. As soon as he saw me, he dove into the bushes like a rabbit, and poof, he was gone. Well, then, uh, I assume you did not see his face. Oh, no, Don Diego. I could sit with him in the tavern and not know him. <laughs> you know, Sergeant, you may do just that. What do you mean? Well, there are so many strangers in Los Angeles. Uh, El Cuchillo, for instance, and the man with him. I thought you liked Senor Cuchillo. Oh, don't misunderstand me, Sergeant. Of course I like him. He's a charming fellow. But you just said... Sergeant, I once had a pet rattlesnake. I was very fond of him also. But I kept my eye on him just the same. Can I get a drink of water? Yes, go ahead. It's all right. This is Bernardo, De La Vega's servant. He neither hears nor speaks. What did Cuchillo say? As soon as we have relieved Los Angeles of a few extra pesos, he'll get you out. Mm. He better. Gracias. Me to talk to Viver. Did you see him? See, si. and I see the innkeeper also. He wants some more money. I tell you, Cuchillo, it was a mistake to start to pay for everything. You know, people get so they expect it. Come here. Fix it. I don't know what I can do with this. Maybe I could put some designs over it. 
Hey, you know, I'm, I'm both sides to match. <laughs> if I had some conchos. <laughs> if I had some conchos. <laughs> You have now. Senor Cuchillo, uh, I must explain about the money. Mañana. Hey, but, senor. You said mañana. Sí. Hello, Chulita. How's my beautiful little tamale? Uh. What's the matter with you? You know very well. We were supposed to go riding this morning, so I waited, and I waited, and where were you? Oh, I was detained, Chulita. Uh, detained by a girl? Now, how can you say that, Chula? I never look at other girls. Look, I am no more interested in what you do. I do not care what you do. You don't, huh? No. Uh, you don't care if I die with a broken heart? No. Mira, Chulita, no seas tonte. A mí también empieza con esa cosa, Deja, Senor Cuchillo still owes me a drink from yesterday. I will charge it to his account. Good idea. Chulita! Ah, qué viejo usted, Carlos. You uh, seem to have a way with the senoritas. Well, uh, some do and some don't. I don't know. Maybe it's the clothes. Hey, and you, Jack? No. It's a beautiful design. Uh, looks a little familiar. Here we are, the finest wine in all Los Angeles. I had to pay for it myself. Thank you, Sergeant. A toast, Don Diego. All right. To the early capture of the rabbit. The what? A rabbit, Don Diego. Well, it was your own expression, Sergeant. Last night, four bandidos attempted to steal a chest of silver. Sergeant Garcia bravely captured three of them, but the fourth got away by, to quote the sergeant, diving into the bushes like a rabbit. Like a scared rabbit. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's probably still running. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but that is not what you told me today, Don Diego. Today, <laughs> Senor Cuchillo, today, Don Diego told me he thought that you... Oh, Sergeant, I'm so sorry. Did I get any eye? No. Sergeant, don't tell Cuchillo what I said. It uh, would embarrass both of us. Oh, see, Don Diego, I, I, I will change the subject. Senor Cuchillo, about my money, could you pay a little... Uh-huh. Mañana. Ah, uh, Gordito, uh, what were you saying? Uh, I was I was about to make a toast, Senor Cuchillo, to, uh, to, to 20,000 American dollars. Uh, what American dollars? The ones the ship from Boston is bringing to pay for the hides. Salud. I think the toast is a little premature. The boat does not arrive for months. Oh, no, Don Diego. It is due next week. Uh, excuse me, I... I get some tobacco. <laughs> well, Don Diego, I changed the subject. You certainly did, Sergeant. Uh, you, uh, you didn't tell him what time the ship was coming in. I, I don't know the exact hour. Oh, why don't you find out? Judge, I'm on the trail of twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand. Give me that gold coin of yours. Hey, innkeeper. Oh. Si, senor. This is for what I owe you, and for whatever the gentlemen would like to have. Anything they want. Oh. Uh, of course, senor Cuchillo. A gold sovereign. Si. Oh, si. Gracias, senor Cuchillo. Senor Cuchillo. I can't let you go on paying for everything. When are you going to be my guest? Uh, very soon, Diego. I, uh, I promise you. Salud. Salud! Salud. This Uncle Chillo has plenty of men already. If he gets those three out of jail, compared to Sergeant Garcia's Lancers, he will have an army. Well, I intend to see that he doesn't. Bernardo, get Fernando ready.
beautiful. Sergeant Garcia would have to open his mouth about those dollars. Well, don't feel too bad about it. I think he would have found out about it anyway. I suppose so. Are you expecting anyone? No. Hey, Gio, they are in here. Good evening, Diego. I was afraid you might have gone to bed. What is the meaning of this? Who is this gentleman? My father, Don Alejandro. Oh. Senor, I introduce myself. I am El Cuchillo. This afternoon, your son said to me, uh, Cuchillo, when are you going to be my guest? Uh, didn't you, Diego? Yes, I did. So I accept the invitation. I took the liberty of bringing Chulita with me. She said she had never been here before. Why, oh, hey, Chulita? Ven pa' caíta. You are most welcome, senorita. Gracias, don Alejandro. Please, uh, make yourself at home. Thank you. Oh, you have beautiful things here. Well, thank you. Senor, I introduce myself. Cuchillo. Oh. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get you some refreshments. Oh, don't bother, amigo. Don't bother. What you have here is good enough. Well, I'm afraid you'll find it's not the very best vintage. Oh? It's good enough for me. Estupido, idiota mamarracho. I am sorry, Diego. These men are so clumsy, I, I don't know what to do with them. Wait for me outside in the patio, all of you. Wait outside for me in the patio. Diego, they're here for a reason. Let's find out. I, I I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. Cuchillo and the rest of us will wait for you right here. And remember, I won my lucky piece back. You'll get it, you'll get it. What about him? He neither hears or speaks, but he can be a very good witness that all of us are out here.
Marta, you dance more beautiful than ever. Oh, I dance for you, Cuchillo. Cuchillo! It's getting late. Are we going to spend the night here? You have the manners of burros. How many times have I told you to behave like gentlemen? Stay outside! Say goodbye, Chilita. Huh? Don Alejandro, it has been a great honor for me to be here tonight. We were honored to have you, my dear. Don Diego? Diego, I... I want to apologize for all of us for uh, intruding on you for the entire evening. Well, uh, all of you didn't intrude. We were honored to have you as our guests. Thank you. Oh, the pretty design you have in this jacket. Goodbye, amigo. the innkeeper. Maybe they even freed their friends. And you know something? They provided themselves with a beautiful alibi. Us. Oh, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Chato, uh, Chulita was a little unhappy when I took her home. I wonder why. Why? Because you did not take Chulita home. We did. Let's divide up the money. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We'll race for it. We'll race from here to the mission. Whoever gets there first, gets twice as much. Oh, oh, you win, Gio. All right, all right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you all a head start. Huh? Here, to show you I'm fair, you hold the stakes. Line up, everybody.
cuchillo. Next week, titled Adios El Cuchillo, this sword carves out one of the most exciting chapters in early California legend. It is a story that will bring you another episode in the life of that devil may care adventurer who signed his name like this. Come join in the thrills of another adventure in the life of Zorro the Fox as he plays a lone hand against the sinister plans of the gay bandito. El Cachillo and his ruthless desperados who plunder the land of the dawns. I'm interested in one man, Zorro. You seem to be very concerned. May I ask why? I don't think Los Angeles is big enough for Zorro and El Cuchillo. Uh, he went that way. Gracias. Adios, chaparrita bonita. Adiosito. Open the gate. Come on, open it. Share every danger-filled moment, every reckless escapade, starring Guy Williams as the indomitable Zorro, crossing swords and matching wits with guest star Gilbert Rowland as the gay bandido. Next week, when Walt Disney presents Adios El Cachillo. Senor, we are going to be your guests for about a week or so, until the ship from Boston arrives in San Pedro. Uh, you and Diego are free to come and go as you please. Uh, one at a time. Just as long as one of you remains seated in this chair. I must warn you that uh, if there's any sign of trouble, whoever's seated in the chair. Boom. <laughs>